Welcome back to Blue Zone Homestead. Today we are doing a very exciting project. Today we are going to harvest some honey. I just want to tell you what we've got ready for now. So Al is just assembling the honey extractor and we're going to use this big, big plastic bucket for the honey. I'm expecting a lot of honey today, so we'll definitely need the bucket. And it's got a little opener in here, so when it's ready to jar, I'm going to show you that's uh, how you do it. So I'm going to put the bucket just underneath the honey extractor. There is a opener in here as well. What now I'm going to close real tight, so make sure we don't lose the honey. And I have got two trays in front of me. This is my electric knife. And this is where I'm going to put the frames. I used to use this, I'm probably going to use it in corners and stuff to break the seal. And we've also got the sieve, so just in case if it's any debris, don't want us to end up in our, in our honey. So we're just going to put that right there. And I think we set. I think that's it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go and get suited and we're going to bring the frames of honey to the house. I've decided to do it in a house. I'm going to put the dogs away just in case few bees decide to follow us. But all the windows closed and all the doors and let's do it. It's such an exciting day, the honey extraction. I wasn't gonna do it this year but we've got that much honey that I, I've decided to do some. So let's do it. I'm gonna use the smoker as well. And, but look what we caught that swarm yesterday. The bees are now getting familiar with their new home and they do in their orientation flight so they know where they're gonna be their home so they're gonna find the way to come back home make sure i'm zipped up because they're not gonna like this what i'm gonna do now taking their food away from them and i don't like doing that but there's that much that i think time to do it. I've also got this little plastic bucket where I'm gonna put the frames in what we're going to then transfer to the kitchen and also I've got like a little brush just in case we need to brush some precious little bees from the frame but that's where I'm going to put that's got lid in so I've got the frame in hopefully without bee close it and so on, let's do it! I've decided to harvest that one hive that's so much honey in it. Since then, that beehive swarmed again. It's such a strong hive. I've managed to get it back. But what's happened, another one swarmed. So at the same time, I had two swarm. So I haven't got where to put them really, so they're still hanging on the walnut tree. I am actually deciding right now what to do with them. I will let you know. But yeah, this honey extraction is done. It's gone really well for us. I've managed to harvest 12 of this small frame, frames of honey. And it's honestly, it's only took us maybe an hour to do the whole job from from the beginning to the finish maximum two hours hour and a half 
and it ended up with so much honey I will let you know I've used the smoker smoker to uh, let the bees know you know that go away and that little bit a few what stayed on there I just used my little brush a soft brush to very gently brush it off So I've ended up with 12 frames, what we're going to harvest today. So they look like that. It wasn't, it wasn't cut, fully cupped, but I've done the shake test and there's no water coming out. So I think the water level, you know, the, the honey should be okay for storage. But yeah, 12. And Actually, we've got that much in there that I think we've only got about half away, but I'll leave the other half for the winter for them. This goes, I remember this goes really hot. So I kind of had to plug it on and off. It's not really cut that much. So I think. Oh, I forgot that. So I think I'm going to use this for now. Thank you. Just take this off. It's not good because it's not straight. It's not that you don't have to clean it. No, no, it's only what they cupped. And now we start with small, small motions and then get in faster, but not too fast because if we go too fast, we break the, the frame. And now we're going to check Oh yeah, yeah we have to turn it around first. Extracting honey gives me, you know, brings me back so much, so many memories from my childhood when, when I've done with my parents. We had this little like, getaway place with, I call it a bee house where my mom had a garden and that was doing beekeeping. It was such a special, you know, place. And I, as a child, I was just, you know, running around, chasing butterflies, and it was just awesome. And obviously trying the lovely honeys. So to me now as an adult, and keep carry on doing that, it's just so, it's it's kind of emotional and it's, it's, it's just more than honey extraction, if you know what I mean. It's fantastic. Every time you extract honey, the honey tastes different every time. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. And literally all the honey is gone. This is fantastic. And the frames are light as a feather. So we are just going to put this right back to the hive and they can fill it again.
And this is a job what me and my husband can do together. And it's such a special thing, you know, it's like kind of we do it now together every year. And it just feels so good. Teamwork makes a dream work. It's too hot, is it? Must be if you cut it like that. But I don't think so. Uh, you just. No. Uh, warm. Warm, but I prefer it like this. And we're nearly halfway through. Well, let's have some more. So as soon as we finished extracting all the honey, all the 12 frames, I just put the bee suit back on and I just take all the frames back to the hives for the bees and the bees will clear it out and refill it again for themselves and we'll keep that for them for the cold winter months. And this is a big moment I want to show you when I am now ready to open. To let the honey flow. Very light. We are halfway through our extraction. We've got six more to go. And it's all done. And we're going to weigh. So I've started, I weighed the frames in this plastic box. It was 21 and a half kilogram. So now I'm going to weigh after we finished how much actually the honey is, how many kilograms. So we've just harvested all this honey. It only took us about an hour from the start to the finish. So let's see what 12 small frame gave us. Let's weigh this. Fourteen and a half kilogram. Wow! I can, I can say that we've harvested a year worth of honey for my family. It's few days later now after our honey extraction, and we are now ready to jar our beautiful homemade raw honey. I have got lots of jars in different sizes ready here. That's how I'm gonna store our honey. I will give some away to friends and family and the rest will go to our pantry shelves. I've also got these little cute stickers made. I've made this from, in, I've ordered this from Amazon and it says pure raw honey from Adri's Apiary. And look how cute these little labels are. So I'm going to stick this on the jars. Right, I'm gonna open this now. And liquid gold is coming. So I'm gonna fill this jar. A couple of large jar to fill. Then when it's full, I'll just close it like that. And get another jar. And do the same. Perfect. 
Wow! Look at this. Thank you, my lovely bees. I'm gonna fill these two quart jars now, and the rest gonna be the small jars. To do this, it feels like such an accomplishment what we've just done, you know, and just look at this raw honey from our apiary. It's, it just feels, feels amazing, really. Okay, we've got two huge jars, two quarts, and then we've got another just over three litre and we're going to fill these small jars with our honey. It's got so cold again, it's raining. Right, let's go for it, shall we? <laughs> I really need to concentrate. I try not to do too much mess. So I just pour it. I'll leave a few, wait a few seconds until it drops, slowly it drips, stop. And then I'll move on to the next jar. And to be honest, I didn't really make too much mess and didn't take me long neither to fill all these jars. I managed to fill most of it. So that's gonna, this, this this is the best time to eat them uh, or you know use it up whatever you want to use it up because it's nice and runny because over time it's gonna crystallize well, it's not a problem it's just easier now to use it because it pours so easily and I've already been giving out some for friends and family and everybody really really enjoys it All the honey is now jarred, so I'm just going to put the lids on and this can go to storage. Looks so pretty. just like to dress up the my jars you know it just looks so pretty and I really like these cute personalized labels I've made a few years ago I still got loads left Personalized labels to put on them. That would just make it like extra special and as a Christmas present or just any present for my friends and family. It would be so pretty. I can even put the labels on the top. Put on the top as well, like that. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today and the last couple of days, weeks, looking after the bees, harvesting the honey, and now jarring up all these lovely honey. I still got so much honey left from last year and previous years, so I'll definitely grow a year worth of honey again. And it's only July, so we might even have some more. I'll see you very soon. 
Bye friends.